How do you build confidence? That's a big deal in our society nowadays. We're always battling with comparison. We're always looking at people on Instagram, maybe comparing ourselves. Comparison is the death of happiness. It's stealing from your present moment. Stop comparing yourself to others. Focus on how you can improve your life, how you can improve your confidence. Focus on how, on how you can uplift others. That's a big deal to me. I remember I suffered with confidence for a long time and I didn't even know. All I, all I knew was that I had something blocking me from trying to be myself or not accepting who I am or my background. A lot of the times you do this, it leads to self-sabotage. You self-sabotage, you overdrink because you think drinking is going to give you more confidence because you can be yourself a little more. You start doing drugs, you start doing all these things and you're just not really being yourself at that point. You're really going deeper into the hole. So today I'm going to dive into how to build your confidence. How, how you can build your confidence as a man or a woman. And if you follow these steps, you can start building up your confidence and be yourself more. Number one is that you need to commit. You need to commit to your goal. You need to have some goals. What are your goals? Write them down. You have to at least go back to your goals at least once a week. And if you're a starter, come back once a month and remind yourself, what is my goal? What is my desire? What do I want? And really ask yourself that. Maybe it's fitness. Maybe it's personal. Maybe it's better relationships. How can you build better relationships? It's probably committing to be a better communicator. I commit to a YouTube video because I want to help more people. Now, number one is you have to commit, all right? Commit to what you say you're going to do and do it. And after that, number two is going to create a courage. You're going to have this courage even though you feel fear. In the book by Dan Sullivan, The Four C's, this is what it's based off of. He says that courage is having your pants wet despite of fear. That's courage. Courage isn't not, not having fear. It's going towards the fear and committing and doing it. And it's going to create a courage. That's courage. So if you're scared of something and you think, well, what if I fail? What if people laugh at me? You got to run towards it and do it. Have courage. It's going to create courage for you. It's going to create a new courage. After that, you're going to be, you're going to have what comes down to number three is a new capability. You're going to be capable of doing something new. You're going to be able to go up to the stranger. You're going to be able to have a, a great conversation because now you understand communication. You understand to be present with the person that's talking to you. You have now a new capability. You have a capability to do the things that you want to do. And guess what? That creates a cur that creates a confidence. It's going to create it's going to create a better you. People will resonate more with you. They'll be amazed how good of a listener you are. They'll be amazed how good of a communicator you are when in reality you're just a good listener and you're a great communicator. But you know when the time is to talk and you know when the time is to listen. So we have to be present in where is what is happening right now. Our minds can't be in 10 places at one one place. So be present. It's going to create a new capability for you to do new things. And guess what the last one is? It's confidence. You're going to create a new confidence. You're going to be a badass person. You're going to be a great person. You're going to have this new confidence, this new ability to do things that you want to do, to become the best person that you are destined to be. I need you guys to say something right now. Say, I got it. Ready? Go. I got it. I got this. Guys, build your confidence, set your goals, know what you want, chase it, go after it. Stop settling for basic stuff that you know that you want more. If you want to make a certain income, make that a goal. Make that a commitment. Say, I will get to 100,000 one way or another. And just commit to that. Commit to it. Now you're going to have the courage to go research which 
You know, if you're not an entrepreneur, you want to get a high paying job, a high paying skill set. Maybe you have your job and maybe you're going to start filling into your skill set. Get a high paying skill set, communication, getting on camera, sharing more value to people. Why? Because you study it. It's in the books. It's in the books. It's in the books. You don't have money? Read a book. It's practically free. You don't have money? Go to the library. Now you have a new courage to go to the library, check out a book, and start reading it. Now you have a capability to improve your communication skills. But you get the point. You get the point. If you're going to commit to something, go all in, guys. Go all in. I'm very passionate about this. And I love it. It comes out of love. Commit. Run it. And say what you want to say. Comment below your goal, guys. Make it a shareable goal. Comment below. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. If you like these videos, I'm going to bring in more videos like this. I really appreciate it. It all comes from love. And... Um, Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Keep crushing it, guys. Peace.